We've got a pretty cool thing behind us we want to show you, but this is an exciting day for us at MCI, for all of our staff and engineers and team that put this vehicle together, but also an exciting day for accessible transit. For the first time in 20 years, MCI is unveiling one of the most innovative, game-changing products the public transit market has seen. MCI and its D4500 commuter coach, which you see to my right over here behind you, has been the mainstay of the industry for years. Many of you operate. For those that don't, you need to. Or maybe the one behind me. And we've been full industry participants in regulations over the years with UMTA, FTA, ADA, Buy America, and so on. And now we want to do more. We want to make sure our vehicles are accessible for all. After all, it's all about the passenger, isn't it? Because without them, we don't have much to do. And that's what we have behind us today. It's, it's been a while that uh, we've deployed vehicles and launch vehicles, but now we can deploy vehicles on any route. This vehicle, dwell times, will now be the same as regular transit buses. So with that said, I'd like to now introduce Brent Maitland, Vice President of Marketing and Product Planning, to go a little deeper into our commuter coach. Thank you, Patrick, and welcome, everybody. So when we, when we set forth to do this design, and a lot of the team members we have, our engineering team, uh, all present for this. Uh, we partnered with BMW Design Works, who's been our partner in design for a long time. And what we said right away is, you know, we've got all these ideas, we heard from agencies on what the vehicle should be and how we could do a low floor thing and a high floor thing. But we said, we just don't know enough. So we need to make sure that we have properly engaged the users people who use this vehicle every day in the process. And we were just talking about it before, that's kind of what we do with a lot of our developments. But in this case, there's so much to be learned about it. Um, so we embarked on the design process and we said, okay, we want to make it faster. We want to have high capacity. We want to make it easy. And as we really studied the usage of our motor coach, and even low floor coaches as well, being out in the field, talking to these users, what we found is the experience can really create a lot of stress and anxiety and discomfort. There's buzzers, there's bells, there's yelling for people to move out of the way. All of this causes stress. And when we talked, it was just, hey, I, I wanna get on with life, I wanna make this easy. So we said, okay, we have this concept of a low entry section. We built a model. We looked at 32 different designs. We honed it down to one that we really thought had a lot of merit based on feedback from our customers, from the users, from people uh, with mobility challenges and using mobility devices. We honed it down to this design. Then we built a model. So full scale model. We got a lot of feedback on it. We invited users to engage with us. Tell us how the seat layout worked. Tell us where we should put the switches. We had a lot of support from Society of Manitobans with Disabilities, which is right near us in Winnipeg. Uh, but we also engaged with the AAPD. And as part of that, we engaged with Nickel. And that's where I met Kelly Buckland. So I, I would like Kelly to come up and just talk a little bit about the process from his perspective. Thanks, Brent. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, good to see you all here. Thanks for coming out. Uh, as Brent mentioned, uh, they did engage NICL. I'm the executive director of NICL. It stands for the National Council on Independent Living. Uh, we're a membership organization for Centers for Independent Living, which there are around 700 of them across the United States. So uh, we're all run organizations run by people with disabilities, very much consumer control organizations. And Brent contacted us, like he said, uh, he originally sent us some uh, PowerPoint slides. We went through those. I actually engaged some of my executive committee members in that. They looked at it, and uh, you know, I really want to compliment MCI on engaging 
people with disabilities in the design process. This doesn't usually happen. So what ends up happening is they design something they think works for people and it doesn't. Uh, so adding our input in the initial design stages was really good. But then even more importantly is listening, right? So, and they did that. They listened to what we said. They went back and they changed the design based upon the input we gave them. And then they built the model, like Brent said. Uh, they actually invited me up to Winnipeg to come up and look at it. I did that, and it was so much different seeing it in person. And uh, I was very impressed with it. And it does make, I've been on buses before where the lift is broken and you're stuck on the bus, you can't get off. Uh, this design, this new design makes it so much quicker and easier to get on the bus, get off the bus, much like a, a city bus, except even easier than that, because there's no wheel wells in the way. Uh, I think you're all gonna really uh, be impressed with this. I am. I think people with disabilities are gonna be extremely excited about it. I know that some of the people here uh, are, and uh, I just wanna compliment MCI, and I'm really looking forward to all these seeing the bus. So I'm gonna uh, stop talking there. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. <clears throat> For those of you that don't know me, My name is Ian Smart and I'm the president of MCI Coach. I'm really pleased to be here today. If you haven't picked it up from the team yet, we're really excited about the new product. Just a couple words from me before we get to a video and then finally the reveal. Uh, we're closing in on the, the second year of our ownership by the NFI group, so we spent a lot of time at MCI investing in our factories, investing in the products. Behind me is an excellent example of the work that the team has been doing over the last number of years. Um, we're going to watch a video here in a second that shows the coach its, its features and what it looks like in operation because obviously we've got a static display here today. Uh, but before we get to the video, one thing I would like to do is, is just thank the, the MCI team that's been involved in, in designing the vehicle. We have literally had people uh, locked up behind closed doors for uh, on, onwards of, of two years working on this project. Nights, weekends, time away from their families, all those types of things. So an incredible amount of effort has gone into this vehicle that you're about to see. This is the second prototype. Uh, so with that, let's uh, watch the movie and then we'll take a look at the coach. So with that, uh, gentlemen, let's see the coach. Please folks, over the next couple days, take some time to come see us, go through the coach, ask us questions. Thank you.